What are the two top myths about thyroid disease? Well, the first one is that it's rare and that many people do not have it. And that if you did have it, your doctor would already know. Unfortunately, that myth makes it the fact that the vast majority of those with thyroid disease are undiagnosed and that most do not know they have it even though they're suffering from the symptoms. Along with this part is the fact that most who are on treatment do not realize that they're not being treated ideally. They're still symptomatic, they're still carrying some of the original issues that caused them to get diagnosed, but they've not been resolved. So the top myth would be just a lack of understanding who it's applying to. The second, the number two myth would be that you can fix it with enough iodine. <laughs> and you need some, it's totally logical. If you have too little, your gland just doesn't have the building blocks it needs to make the parts that it gives your body. But the problem is if you've got too much, it blows a fuse and shuts off the gland. So it's a really double-edged sword. I've called this the Goldilocks mineral. The magic amount seems to be about one to 300 micrograms per day. And if you're on thyroid treatment already, you may be getting the bulk of that and it may be a danger of getting above those ranges. If you're not on thyroid treatment, having a pretty good variety of foods in your diet, um, seafood, some sea vegetables on occasion, with the exception of kelp, lots of organic fruits and vegetables, you'll do pretty well on that from, from that alone. So those are the two top myths about thyroid disease.